Almost 40% of students are using ChatGPT to complete their homework. Wait, what? What? This is not enough. So, we are turning ChatGPT into a robot to do our homework. For making the robot, we could make it like a 3D printer, but that's just way too expensive. So, we are going to have some rods with some nuts screwed with this platform on top. So, when the motor turns one of these rods, the platform moves. I repeat this once more, and now we can move in the X and Y axis. But for it to move like this, we have to convert the movement directions into something understandable by the robot called G-Code. I have no idea how to do that, but look, there's this library that does it for me. Ta -da. Oh, wow, so cool. Okay, I did not test it yet. Hundreds of things could go wrong, but whoa. This is the battery which runs Arduino, which is kind of like the brains of the whole thing. And these two stepper motors run all of this. Okay, just run it now. What? Wait, wait, what? No, no. It turns out these motors are weak, very weak. So I think we'll just take this and throw it in the trash. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Wait, Okay, I swapped those old motors for these high-powered ones, so when it spins, it actually moves this thing. Since we want the robot to write, I will also be mounting this pen. For that, I am going to be using this servo motor, which can move like this. So if we just get a pen... Ah, oh, yeah, that one. Nice and fresh. Then I'll stick it to the servo, and... It does this. Okay, this might be it. Bit shaky, but that's fine. But the problem is, we have to tell it what to write. What? We are telling it what to write? <laughs> we are too smart for that. Also, I would rather spend my time doing something more important. So this is where ChatGPT comes in. We will send the questions you want to ask ChatGPT from our code. So the ChatGPT API, think of it like someone to carry information between these two. Takes the question to ChatGPT and brings the answer back. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> so now all that's left is to code $20. $20 just to talk to ChatGPT? But look, a free trial for new users? <laughs> Don't mind if I... Yes. We start by importing ChatGPT and passing the API key, which is something that lets us talk to ChatGPT. So we pass in the question, and ask ChatGPT here, and there it is. But that sounds a bit too ChatGPT. So we pass in a context for the question, and much better. But also, um, does this look like human handwriting to you? Wait, does it? Then I will. I mean, I can't really do anything about it from here. Well, anyways, for converting the handwriting to text, we will first pass it into a machine learning algorithm where it learns from a bunch of samples and spits out the handwriting image, where there is a level of randomness to each word. <laughs> do I know how to do all this? Absolutely not. Though it should be pretty easy. Okay, so it has been days and I don't know even where to start. If this thing doesn't work, I'll just grab the whole thing. Though just like any great engineer would at a time of failure, I asked for help from my wise master Ugmas, yeah. Hmm, 
I see you have come. Oh, Ugliss, I seek help. Mm, very well. I know just what you need. You need an idea. <gasps> exactly. Okay, it turns out I did get it to work after all. <laughs> what? You want to know how I did it? Oh, let me tell you. It's just a matter of skill, precision, and that's really this and then how to make such a video crazy. Then I had to take the image, on the PR, I had to think like Mark Rober. Then I had to take the image, on the decode, I then send it to the machine. I couldn't directly encode it into a decode format. It was not easy, but I was smart. Also shout out to the creators of handwriting JS. They created some pretty cool stuff. Thumbs up. Let me just run it one last time. Hmm, uh, yeah, um why does it look like a six-year-old wrote it? Well technically a six-year-old is not a robot. So we'll just go with this for now. Finally, with days of pain and dedication, I present you the robot that does your home with no limit to its knowledge. With handwriting that looks more human than humans themselves. But will this robot function or not? Solely relies on fate. I present you. The ChatGPT homework writing robot 3000 with 6 year old human handwriting feature. Uh, kind of. So yeah, that's it for me. I know I should prove the robot a lot, like I could replace the rods with drills, but I have spent way too much time on this, so I might make a video of me fixing it. But all that aside, thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please consider subscribing, it's free. Also you could unsubscribe if you change your mind later.